everybody welcome back to the seesaw and another week of family meals and we're starting out the week this week with fajita chicken uh, pasta bake and this is um just a simple meal that shows how you can take a kind of a meal kit or a ready meal kit and turn it into something different than what it was intended for and make it stretch a lot further so this was this pack of chicken fajita stir fry um, which is a ready set cook which is the Aldi version of kind of quick cook at home meals they do lots of nice ones um, and you could certainly do this with many of the different ones that they do they do a nice chicken tikka one they do a few different beef ones which I never look at because we don't have beef but um, this was the chicken fajita stir fry mix and you can see it's designed to feed two people half a pack of this is 283 calories um, so I cooked that up Per the instructions, so you had the diced, a sliced up chicken, which was seasoned, and then there was in this side some onions and peppers, and then there was a little sachet of kind of a spicy sauce. So I cooked it all up per the instructions, and then I stirred through a can of chopped tomatoes, diced tomatoes, and a can of these taco mixed beans in a tomato sauce, a little bit spicy. Um, you could use kidney beans, you could use whatever can of beans you liked really in this, but that bulks it out a little bit. And then I cooked up a pan of fusilli pasta and I stirred that through it as well. And then put it into a casserole dish and topped with cheese. And you can see this is a big um, 13 inch by 9 inch um, casserole dish. So one of the bigger glass ones. And this then portions up into six portions and there is 483 calories per portion. Um, with everything in it so it's with the pasta and the beans and the chicken and the vegetables oh I did stir through a few um, diced mushrooms I had a few mushrooms left in upon it that I wanted to use up so I put those in as well um, and then I put some red Leicester cheese over the top and just popped that in the oven for about 20 minutes just to let the flavors all combine together and the cheese melt on the top so that's how to take a that which was designed for two people and to be fair Tony could have probably eaten that by himself with a few tortillas, add a can of beans, a can of chopped tomatoes and some pasta and you make it stretch into a, a much bigger meal um, which would see feed, like if you had two adults and a few children you could feed a whole family on that. Um, this will make dinner for us tonight and there'll be some leftovers for Tony to take for lunch tomorrow. So just, just kind of again be a bit creative when you look at something I think oh that's only feeds two people that's not suitable for my family I think could you make it stretch further is there something you can do with it to make it stretch um, and these were only I can't remember how much they are I think they're two pounds something a kit it's either, I think it is two pounds something for a kit so it's not a bad price and then pasta we buy the really big bag so we've always got loads of pasta in and it's cheap anyway and these little cans of the beans and the tomatoes less than a pound each so um, you know quite a cheap meal to put together then you can make it spread quite a long way so that is our start to the week a cheesy topped fajita chicken pasta bake hi everybody so it's Tuesday night and tonight we're having a little cheeky midweek steak supper so I've got a sirloin steak that's 21 day aged steak from Aldi I've got Caesar salad from a Sainsbury's Caesar salad kit and then I've got the Cajun fries, which I was going to have Cajun fries with my steak anyway, but I was just going to use some regular fries, fries and put Cajun seasoning. But then when I was looking in the freezer at Aldi, they had already seasoned Cajun fries. So I've just cooked those up in the active fryer. They're actually really tasty, got a nice little kick to them. So steak, salad and chips, that comes in at 542 calories for people that are interested in kind of calorie content or calorie yeah, content of some of the meals that we have. Um, I am currently check, tracking my um, calorie intake on NutriCheck. Um, I don't classify my food as weight loss food or slimming food. Tony tries to gain weight. He tries to eat five to 7,000 calories a day. So, and obviously Caleb is growing. So I don't particularly cook foods that are designed for weight loss, but I do try to track my calories and try to give myself a calorie deficit most days if I can. So this is a 542 calorie um, dinner, which is actually really good for steak, chips and salad. So off to enjoy this on a Tuesday night. Hi everybody, so it's Wednesday night and tonight we have got kebabs. Um, so I wanted some of the Aldi minted lamb kebabs for me um, 
but when I went in on Saturday they didn't have any they only had the chicken and chorizo ones so these are the little skewers with pieces of chicken and a little sliced chorizo which is fine because that's what I would have got for Tony anyway so I just grabbed two packages of those instead I've got some salad I've got lettuce tomato cucumber under there I've got some new potatoes which I've just put a little bit of salad cream on I've made up a little bit of dip or dressing um, with some natural yogurt and a teaspoon of mint sauce to give it like a minty um, uh, dip or dressing and then I've got one of the um, deli kitchen flatbreads these are the Greek style flatbreads they're my absolute favorite flatbreads haven't had them for quite a long time actually I got a bit obsessed with them last year I think it was during lockdown I discovered these um, really loved them and uh, and as I wanted flatbreads with the meal tonight thought I'd have one now they're about I think they're close to 200 calories a flatbread um, yeah they are um, so they are quite hefty in calories but these are not very many calories at all and obviously potatoes and salad are not are not bad with the amounts that I've got there um, so actually this is my main calorie um, for the meal um, but it for me the kebabs with the kebabs it goes perfectly so that is my Wednesday night supper um, the, we're halfway through the week again and it's a bank holiday weekend and hopefully, fingers crossed, the weather is going to improve. We've had more rain again tonight here. So we're hoping that this just rain pushes through now and that's it. And we have some nice weather for the weekend. We can live in hope. <laughs> but for now, I'm off to enjoy my kebabs. Hi, everybody. So it's Thursday evening and we've got savoury mints tonight. So this is just a package of turkey mints that I've uh, browned in the skillet. And then I took that out while I softened up some chopped onion with garlic, added in some chopped mushrooms, let that brown for a little bit. And then I put the mince back in. I added a tablespoon of balsamic vinegar, two tablespoons of tomato puree, um, some dried thyme leaves, probably about a teaspoon or so of dried thyme, and a tablespoon of whole grain mustard. Just um, mix that all together. And then I added in about six, 700 mils of gravy made with gravy granules um, and then just let that bubble away while the potatoes and the vegetables cooked so then we've got some mashed potato and some steamed mixed vegetables so that is our simple Thursday night savoury mince with potatoes and veg hi everybody so it is Saturday night and we are having sausage potatoes and vegetables tonight so I've got the Aldi skinny sausages um, we've got steamed broccoli and carrots and then I've got some potatoes. I was going to do mash but they were quite small potatoes so I've just um, boiled them and buttered them and then um, can sort of mash as, they, as I go as we eat and then we've got some gravy with that. Caleb and Tony have got Cumberland sausages um, for theirs but otherwise the same dinner as me. So off to enjoy this. We're Caleb's choice for movie tonight so we're off to enjoy our Saturday night movie while we eat sausage potatoes veggies and gravy hi everybody so it is sunday night and we're ending the week this week with roast chicken dinner so this is a whole chicken that i've roasted in the oven this time rather than the crock pot i've just taken the skin on off after it was cooked so that's what that coloring is there um, i've got some steamed broccoli peas and sweet corn and then we've got kind of double potato i've got a little bit of mash and i've got so i just fancy some potato croquettes so I've got two of those as well. Those are just the frozen Tesco ones. And then we've got that with chicken gravy. So that ends another week of meals. Thank you for joining us. And we look forward to seeing you back here on the seesaw soon.